to you. Hi and welcome. Um, today, since um, I have nothing better to do, I am going to show you how to suck my video edit like a pro. And as you can see, if you want to get into the pro uh, business, you have to have the full Adobe package um, completely legally bought. Ah, that's besides the point. Let's get right into the t t t tutorial. <laughs> so the first step is to launch the program. Today we're going to be using Adobe Premiere Pro. My, my main choice for most editing, unless I am uh, launching rockets for NASA. In that case, I use Photoshop. But yeah, this program is very powerful, especially for YouTube creators like me, who are famous like me. So um, first, what we're going to do is make a new project. We're going to name this one YouTube <laughs> you <laughs> YouTube um, Tutor YouTube um, Twerking Compilation. All set. So, uh, we're having issues because since my monitors are the cheapest ass monitors around, uh, I had to change my resolution to 720p so that you could, uh, see my screen and not have it fucked up. So now everything's, uh, really tiny. Um, but that's okay. I'll deal with it for you, for the fans. So, um, what I'm gonna teach today, I know I never really said what I'm gonna teach today. I'm just gonna teach you, uh, how I would normally edit a video, you know, so we'll look for, I'm going to get some raw footage from my other monitor here real quick. Well, I couldn't find any raw footage, so instead we're just going to edit um, this video, which is the one I just uploaded. We're going to re-edit it and uh, make it better, because that video was uh, lacking in quality. Yeah, I'm wearing pants, and honestly, I think it could use a bit of a makeover. So let's see what I can do. First of all, what we got here is, yeah, don't mind the noise, anyways, um, this, this effect here, uh, you see in a lot of Hollywood, uh, high budget movies, it took a few hours to complete because of how, um, crazy and high tech it is. I'm muting it now because I don't want you to go deaf, but as you can see, the line goes down, and I appear. Uh, it's a really high grade effect, and only the best of the best can do it. So, if you think you got what it takes, stick in, and let's get back into today's tutorial. Take my nut! Okay, we're back again after that short break. Um, so, what we're going to do first is, okay, so you notice in this video, I have a lot of, um, zoom-ins, like those. Uh, not that, that, that one was a joke, but, um, zoom-ins like, uh, like this. That, uh, was to hide my ball sack from coming out of my boxers. No, but really, those zooms, um, they really add to your video and make it look more professional. Not really, but... You get what I'm saying. Um, basically, what I'm gonna do to snazz up this video a bit is just add some minor, uh, minor color correction. You know, fix the colors a bit. So what we do for that is, oh, uh, all my stuff's moved. We're gonna get the effects panel and we're gonna move that back over here. And we're gonna search up Lumetri. Right? Nope, they're not here. Okay, we're gonna have to scroll all the way down, and there's Lumetri Color. What you can do with that, it's very powerful. Actually, no, 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 wait, forget that. We're gonna undo. First, we gotta make an... First, we gotta make uh, an adjustment layer. And to do that, we're gonna go to New Item, Adjustment Layer. And once we have an adjustment layer, we can drop that on top of our project here. That'll make it so we're not uh, editing the raw project or the raw video we're, we're putting an adjustment layer which is a layer that allows you to, to adjust the layers below it <laughs> yeah i'm good at explaining as you can tell um so now that we're getting in we're going to drop lumetri color on the adjustment layer and then go to the effects controls and what we're going to do from here is some basic correction 
Um, we don't want to ruin the video too much and, and get rid of the beautiful colors that are there, but uh, um, what we're going to do, change the temperature a little. It's looking a little too bright, so we're going to make it a little more blue. The L-U-E spells blue. I think that's good. Not too bad. Not too much. Um, then add a bit of a... Oh, that's good. I like that. It's really subtle, but, I mean, subtle. Sub How do you split? Um, okay, so, now, I think the only thing we have to do is bring the saturation down to, uh, 14%. Um, and now we're going to add a little bit of camera shake to make the scene a bit more natural. And, uh, it'll make it appear as if I have a cameraman and not lonely and I'm not alone. Which, uh, yeah. So, to do that, we're gonna go here. And this camera shake comes from the plugin, uh, Red Giant. The Red Giant Bullet Suite, I think it's called. Uh, they have a lot of cool plugins. And, uh, they have a camera shake preset that you can have if you, if you need so. So we're going to get this uh, camera shake here, right here, we're going to drop that on the adjustment layer. And we don't want a shake that's like too crazy. We don't want people going, wow, that's not a real camera shake. We want to really sell it. So what we're going to pick is the earthquake setting, because uh, that's normally how, when I hold the camera it looks. So we're going to change everything up just a bit. Scale the foot. We're going to have to scale the footage for this just a bit so it doesn't break the video um but i think we're doing pretty good so far uh, just one more effect that i'm gonna add uh for just for safe keepings um let's add some chromatic aberration why is it not here no why where 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 is it where's my uh there it is huh good and we're gonna uh oh, I have, what the fuck do you mean? I have, oh, I had the wrong, never mind, sorry, I added the wrong thing. Okay, so, now what we're gonna do, fuck, god damn it, stop it. God damn it. Okay, so, now what we're gonna do is tick all these, and it distorts your camera. Um, we don't want too much of that, so we're gonna get rid of it. And once it's all down to, like, nothing... That's good. And then, as the video goes on, we'll make it so the effect gets a bit bit more intense. You know how the, the video gets a bit more intense. So we intense the effect just a bit. Just a bit. And with that, we can do a pre-render and check out what we have. So I'll get right back to you after that renders. So let's uh, check out. What we have, full screen, here we go. Yeah,